is up YouTube, Moderate Mods, and today we're back with a very sizzling, sizzling hot summer edition of Caliper Painting here. I don't know if there's going to be a winter edition, there probably won't, but don't mind that. So we're out in about 85 degree weather, um, and it's perfect weather for painting, but not so perfect weather for not sweating, but that doesn't matter. So I went to AutoZone and picked up two cans of some high temperature caliper paint. Yeah, I'm going with the traditional red. Normally I'm a blue guy, but red because the accents on the vet are gonna be red. So I'm gonna go ahead and do red. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I paint calipers and just some tips and tricks to paint them um, and clean them, prep them, and just have a clean look without making a huge mess in the process. Because in reality, it's a pretty easy task, but if you're not clean and um, you know, patient with it. It can be sloppy and you can get paint everywhere. And we don't need to do that. So I'm gonna show you extremely cheap ways to mask off your area and only spend about 30 bucks and paint your calipers. So let's dive right in guys. All right guys, so first off is the prepping and cleaning process. So prepping the area is pretty simple and pretty satisfying in a sense too. Um, when you're painting, you always want a clean area and cleaning and prepping is going to be your first step and your very, very important step in the entire process. So I like to do all the steps all together, all at the same time. So when I prep, I'm gonna prep all the wheels and then I'm gonna clean and you know, so on, so on. So for prepping, what I recommend really is a wire breast set. Uh, I picked this up from AutoZone for $7.99, I think. And it comes with all these, you know, attachments and um, wheels. I'm just gonna use this one right here. And all you need is a drill, any drill will work. Um, I use my power drill, corded one, just because it has a lot more power than my battery powered ones. And it'll allow me to brush all this off, really clean up the area. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna buff my hubs too, just to, you know, knock out an extra thing. So go ahead and attach this up and I'll show you what it looks like to buff the hub. So I actually switched it up. I'm gonna use this one just cause it has a entire surface area not just one big circle with empty in the middle and um, I'll show you here guys you just want to brush off all this I'll show you the hub first and what it looks like you're gonna see me literally brushing all this build up off and it's gonna be super satisfying if you're doing it and it really cleans it up and makes it safer Now this part is just a hub I'm not painting this but um, I'm just doing this just because it's something good you should do especially when you're up under your wheel like this and then I'll show you the same process on the caliper as well seen just from wire brushing it look how much cleaner that is it really rips off all the hard on stuff and then I'll show you what we're gonna do when we go to clean but now go ahead go around your car and just wire brush every caliper guys and why not do your hubs as well just clean it all up <music> guys so now that you have finished buffing um you can probably see a major difference especially if you had some extremely dirty road or er, uh, calipers so now we're going to take some warm water and dish soap um not brake cleaner just because we're going to be painting this area and um i don't prefer to use brake cleaner especially right when i'm about to paint i could see maybe if you were going to let this sit overnight then yeah, some brake cleaner would really clean it up. And if your rotors are, um, I keep saying rotors, if your calipers are very, very dirty, even after the buffing, and you'd feel more comfortable with a deep clean, I would say over, let this sit overnight. Um, but before you let it sit, get some brake cleaner and maybe even a hand scrubber and get in there and really scrub them to really clean it up. Just cleaning just allows more paint to bond better and it just overall will last much longer. So. In my case, I'm just going to be using some warm water and dish soap, and I'm just going to scrub these down, get into parts that maybe the bristles couldn't get in as well, really kind of just clean it up, 
and then um, take another rag, dry it up, and repeat that process for all your calipers. And then we're gonna move on to the fun part, uh, masking and painting. Now that you've done your cleaning, your prepping, we're on to masking and about to begin painting. So to show you what you can do to mask off very easily and cheaply, um, you can use two things here. You can use paper towels or you can use just leftover newspaper. Um, those are two great things that are extremely cheap and you're probably going to have in your house somewhere. Now. Masking off is a broad thing here. I'm gonna break this down. So if you already know what I mean by masking off, you can go ahead and skip through this. But basically, you're gonna to wanna to cover areas that don't wanna get paint on it. So we don't wanna get paint on the rotor. We don't wanna get paint on any hardware back there, inside your fender well, your axle, your control arm, anything like that. We wanna keep all that area unpainted. We just want this area to be painted. So you can do multiple ways um, in this process. Some people will actually take their top caliper off and put that somewhere, maybe even disconnect it entirely and paint it separately and, or just take the entire system itself off. Now, if you're doing that, um, you could have taken this off and done all the prepping as well. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing the simple route and the easy route for most people out here, which is going to be on the wheel. Still going to get great results and it's still gonna look clean, and honestly, it's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna mask off areas that are not gonna wanna get painted, and that would be, you know, the rotor or whatnot. In here, my caliper has um, an opening where the rotor actually spins through, so I'm gonna put some blocker in there as well so that doesn't get all painted up and you see it up here. So you just wanna go around and check all the areas around your caliper that are gonna be exposed and cover those areas up. So let me show you how I'm gonna be masking up with my common household products. Okay guys, so with your paper towel here, you can take a sheet and you can just start going in areas that you, do, that you want covered up. So here, lift you up a little bit. There we go. And the great part about them is that they're just so you know, malleable, you can mold them to any shape you want and just kind of tuck it in. And then there you go, you take your tape. Painter's tape is gonna be your best option, cheapest option, and it sticks great and it rips off good enough. You know, you don't need to have something that's super strong holding on stuff that you're gonna just discard. You know, don't waste your Gorilla tape. And just work your way around, you know, just, just sheet at a time, get it in areas you don't want painted, um, areas that are pretty large, that's typically where I use uh, paper towels at, is larger areas like the rotor, um, uh, you know, newspaper I'll use up in the, you know, wheel well plastics kinda, so it, cause it's just bigger. But all the way around, you can just work around with paper towels and as long as you're not hammering on paint, you know, and you're not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna show you guys how to paint safely and properly without getting so much paint you're gonna bleed through paper towels or you know get run things like that but like i said as long as you're not banging it on it's not gonna go through the paper towels unless you're using some extremely thin paper towels but pretty sure we got bounty here and my girl's probably gonna kill me but it's all right the amount of money i'll be making from doing this for people will pay it right back right <laughs> but you know just use this stuff here and let me show you with, with the newspaper here Take your newspaper, lay that over, boom. And you can just lay it in places and then if there's a little gap in between places, take your tape and block that. 
but just want to use this as a shield guys it's not it's doesn't got to be pretty it can look crazy as long as you're not getting paint on areas you don't want paint it's working guys now that we're all masked up you can see here all my areas are covered and the only thing is my caliper so a lot of people mask off their pads as well in this video i'm not going to do that just because i'm probably gonna be getting new pads here shortly so it doesn't really matter to me either it doesn't affect me with the pad being painted if the pad is not painted you know you're gonna see your black there which does look pretty cool too and it just looks like a cleaner look. But if you want to not paint your pad and you don't want to mask off, if you don't have an X-Acto knife, if it's just too much of a hassle, you can, before doing this, so if you got to this step-by-step step and you're on, at this area, unfortunately, you may um, be able to do it with this stuff, but probably not. Uh, you can take your top caliper off with whatever size bolt, you know, here and at the bottom and just remove that front pad, then put the caliper back on and you know mask in that area and you're good you know there will be no pad and then after you're done painting you'll have to come back you know once it's dry and put your pad back in but that's going to be a way if you don't want to get your pads painted and you want to just um skip the whole masking this you know tedious part off um that's pretty simple there too but as you can see guys it's all masked up um we'll want to worry about overspray or anything like that we're going to keep it close we're going to keep it tight and now just repeat this process all the way around guys and all the tires. I know this one might take a little bit of time, but it's really worth it. So take your time. Don't rush this one. And then right after you're done with this, we're getting to the best part. All right, guys, nice job. So now that you have everything masked off, uh, here comes the best part, it's painting. So with painting, you wanna keep a safe distance and you wanna be patient. Don't worry, you got a can, you got two cans, you're gonna have enough paint. Uh, preferably two cans will definitely give you enough paint. But you wanna paint slowly, and they say six to 12 inches. Well, I'm sure we don't all have tape measures, but in your head, give yourself about a foot, half a foot, and give distance and just go in passes. If you're real good, you can go back and forth, but go in passes, spray, let go, spray, let go. You know, and don't forget the first coat, this thing's not gonna be extremely red. You know, you might still see areas in between, but that's fine. You do not wanna overcoat on any coat. You do not wanna put too much paint. If you put too much paint, you will experience run. Be light, do five coats, do six. It's better than two. You know, you don't have to camera it on. It'll all stick on. The more coats you do, the more it's gonna last and the better it's gonna look. That's, you know, just a given, but you know, it's gonna be pretty simple in a sense. Uh, painting has always been really relaxing for me and it's pretty easy to do. So make sure you can shook up guys and just paint away. And I'll show you here what I mean by just some simple passes. Do your test spray. There you go, get your red out. And then some simple passes. You know, you get the front, work your back, top up there, like that, boom. And let that be your first, first coat. Let that sit, let that dry, you know, let that sit for about five minutes or so and come back in. And then once you hit the second and the third, then you're gonna really get that red popping, guys. So just do that on every single tire, work your way around, and I'll show you how it looks. We're gonna go step by step or, uh, coat by coat, I should say, and just watch how the color changes. Enjoy. Okay guys, so that was three coats there. I'm a little, little under half a can and um, they're already looking great. So 
What I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna take a heat gun on a lower setting and I'm just gonna run it over. I get warm here. I'm gonna run it over and I'm gonna do it on all of them. Then I'm gonna let it sit for about five, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let this, this coat here and all those other coats kind of cure up. And then I'm gonna hit it probably with another two, possibly another three. And another thing too, guys, make sure while you're painting, you kind of flip back your paper towel if you have it up on the front lip there and uh, check and make sure you're getting those areas too because you don't want to just paint, paint, paint and then you see that, oh, you left a, a big strip open. So no worries if you painted two coats and it's, you didn't get apart, it's all good. You always can come back and paint some more. But just warm it up there, let it get a little dry. And like I said, go do this on all the wheels and um, come back in about 10 minutes or so and do another two coats. So I'm gonna keep tracking this one here. Uh, we're on coat number three. I'll show you coat four, probably coat five, and uh, then I'll show you around what they all look like and then we'll peel all this off and check it out. guys so five coats I let it dry for about 20 minutes or so um, I'm just being really really you know careful with the drying I really want to let it dry up and I want you guys to see it's very important to let it dry no matter how good it looks and how fast you want to get your wheels on let it dry up but now that it's dried up I can touch it with no problems no paint or anything like that um, so now we're just gonna peel off and we're gonna be very careful while we're peeling off. You know, just take your time. Try not to yank super hard on any parts. Rip off, you know, your, the areas that are easy to rip off, you can rip off first. Ball it all up. And then take a look at your masterpiece. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got one in here too. Yes, I do. There it is. So look at that, guys. Take you off the stand there so you can see it a little better. I mean, they look so good. So good compared to the stock. That red's really, really, really going to pop. I already know it. But um, now is the part where you want to check and make sure you didn't get paint anywhere else. So if you did, no worries. We're going to show you. You know, we're all human, right? We don't got any aliens watching these videos. And as you can see... What I like to do is spin my wheel out and I like to see underneath the caliper. And there you go, you see I got a little bit. Let me show you how to fix that. So guys, if you got a little paint on the rotor, no biggie at all, take some brake cleaner. And if it's far away from it, you can just spray on carefully, or you can use a rag, spray on the rag and wipe. But as you see right where I sprayed there and knocked that part off, I'll spray a little on a rag here. Look at that, wipes right off, no more red. So it's just that simple guys. If you get a little uh, extra spray on anything, just take your brake cleaner and wipe it all down and you're set. But um, it's still good to mask up. Don't just spray and go crazy with brake cleaner. But now my rotor's all clean and I got painted calipers. So go ahead and take it off on all of them. And then we'll take a look, see what they all look like and then throw the wheels on. All right, guys, so it's a little dark outside, but I'm gonna throw the flash on just so you can see it too. Look how clean and cherry red that is. I mean, wow, I'm loving it. I think it looks great. They came out just the way I want. And from about this angle here is where you're gonna be looking at them. As you can see, they are clean and they're super dry. They're slick to the touch. They feel great. I mean, they look awesome. Let me show you the other wheels. I can't do nothing better than spending my day with you. My life's sunny and better 
girl when I'm with you She luminous so bright like a star in the skylights She got the looks, the good, oh boy, I need a something in my life Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go London, Paris, Tokyo, oh, shawty, we could go Don't need no luggage, na 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 Don't need no stress, girl, na 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 Just me and your sounds alright, sounds alright, girl I want nobody but you Well guys, there's the look with the wheels on and they've probably been dry for about an hour now. I just cleaned up the garage after I got the wheels on and I'm loving the look. It looks great guys. With the racing, it all matches in greatly and I think it's a great addition to any car no matter what, a great mod to do. A real head turner, no matter what car you have, uh, calipers pop, man, especially on rims that are a little less smoky. So it's a great upgrade to do, guys. I really hope this video helped. Um, you already know anything that you want to do, do it. Don't let anybody tell you different. And remember, if you ever need help on anything that I've made a video on or just anything in general that you might need on a car, hit me up. Comments, IG, anything, any car. I'm always here to help guys. I'll try to help you find things that you may be looking for. And um, I'm always bringing more and more tips and tricks. So if you haven't already subscribed, um, check out some of the other videos. And I hope to see you guys on later videos in the comments. So until the next one, guys, peace. I want nobody but you. I want nobody but you. I want nobody but you. I want nobody